good morning and welcome everyone um, make sure you have a couple blocks and towels at home or the cushion something that you can use it throughout your whole practice and if you happen to have the tennis ball at home you can use it if not don't worry about it you just modification find yourself to a comfort sitting position feel your tailbone rooted down toward the floor then lengthening to your spine if you're not noticing how your sitting bone rooted down toward the floor, then shift your torso side to side. Begin to find the center and balance. Then allow the spine to stack in one vertebrae at a time. Lengthening to the back of your neck, proud the head reaching up. Rest your hands on tops of the thighs, soft, bending your elbow. Feel the weight of your elbow down towards the earth. Breathing in, lift the shoulder up toward your ear and exhale, slowly draw the shoulder apart, drop your shoulder down, softening to your face, your jaw. A few more out, inhale, lifting up tall, shoulder towards your ear, exhale, relax and letting go. In the next couple of breaths, see whether you like to breathing into both nostrils and exhale, soft blow the air out to your mouth. Allow that exhale to be long and empty. Then slowly breathing in once again, noticing the difference. As you exhale, the still air releasing out from your body, it creating more space for the next in breath. Your gaze can be down toward the floor or closing your eyes. Choose the option that allowing you to stay focused. Feel your breath. Noticing that sounds of your breath that soothing throughout your whole body. On the next inhale, draw the air in a little bit more. Let it be long, slow, deep breath. Noticing any vibrating inside your body. Breathing out, relaxing, and letting go. Letting go not just only the stale air, but the things that no longer serve you. Draw yourself towards your breath so that your mind can find the stillness and finding these present moments. Each time you inhale, feel the front body expanding in all directions. Exhale, noticing the grounding in the rooted down toward your sitting bone. Breathing in, filling up your lung capacity. Draw that air all the way down to the bottom of your pubic bone. You might start to noticing the movement around your belly as the belly expanding. Ribs over now, all direction up toward your chest. Breathing out, relaxing out from your chest, softening to your ribcage, and empty the air out from your stomach. A few more rounds like this that engaging the three parts of your body. Watch your breath, one breath at a time. begin to connecting your breath towards your body, scanning through throughout your whole body to noticing how your body feels. Throughout your whole practice, listening to that inner voice, inner wisdom, that guiding you to practicing within your own range of motion. Try not to judge yourself let it be the journey to your practice. In the next couple breath, taking your time to set up the intention of your practice. What brought you here today? Slowly find your way back to your natural breath. At your own time, then gently open up your eyes. Breathe.
breathing in, draw the arms out, reaching it up toward the sky and allow the palms to touch. Exhale, bend the elbow, floating that hands right in front of your heart. Inhale, draw the palm forward, open up your arms, open the chest, bring the palm facing up, thumbs back. Exhale, rounding your back by draw the navel in toward the spine, chin toward your chest, left wrist on tops of the right, bring the thumbs down toward the floor. Inhale, reaching up tall, keep the wrist crossing. Exhale, tilting over to your right side, bend the elbow if you want, particularly the right elbow, then draw the elbow and the right shoulder back, lengthening from your waist line up. Breathing in, coming back toward the center, then open up the arms out wide at the shoulder high, palm facing up, thumbs back. Exhale, this time right wrist crossing on top of the left, bring the thumbs down, navel in toward the spine, rounding your back, chin toward your chest. Inhale, stacking the spine one vertebrae at a time, bend the elbows an option, reaching it up tall, hug your waist line in. Exhale, tilting over to your left side. Just slightly tilt, focusing on drawing your left shoulder away from your right, from your left hip. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, release, draw the arms down, circle the arms behind your back, open the front of the chest, hug the shoulder blade in toward the center. Lift the chin, lift the chest up. Exhale, tilting forward from the hips, draw your chest parallel toward the floor, lengthening to the crown of the head. Breathing in, stacking the spine one vertebrae at a time, lift your arms up, lengthening your torso. Exhale, twist to your right, left hand, right knee, right fingertips down. Focusing on grounding down toward your left sitting bone and lift your chest and torso up. Inhale, right arms up toward the ceiling, gazing up. Draw that right armpit up. Stay right here or the next option. Begin to drop your left shoulder down, then draw your right hand toward your left knee. Breathing in, rising back up. Exhale, bring your right hands down. Then slow motion, turn your chin over to your left shoulder. Nodding yes a couple times and see what you can relax into the right shoulder, draw it away from your right ear. Option tilting left ear down toward the floor. Inhale, lift the head back up, exhale, turning to your right. Then begin to untwist, coming back toward the center, pause and notice the difference. Breathing in, arms out, reaching it up toward the sky, widen your arms, softening to your shoulder. Exhale, twist to your left, right hands on top of the left knee, left fingertips down. Let that twist from the upper torso so that you are keeping your hips in line. Inhale, left arms up toward the ceiling, draw the armpits and gazing up. Exhale, left hand toward your right knee, lengthening the left side of your body. Breathing in, lift the left arms up. Exhale, left fingertips down toward the floor, keeping your twist right there. Relaxing right shoulder, left shoulder down. Inhale, slow motion, draw your chin toward your right shoulder, nodding yes. Once you find that ease option, tilting right ear down toward the floor. Feel the lengthening to the left side of your neck. Breathing in, lift the head back up. Exhale, turn to your left side. Then untwist, bring both hands to the front. Extending the leg out down toward the floor. Keep your knees slightly off from the floor. Then point the toe forward, flex the toe back. Circle your ankle clockwise, counterclockwise. Then keep your legs slightly wider. Bring the hands outside your hip, fingertips point forward, soft, bending your elbow. Breathing in, exhale, roll the 
toe over to your right side, lift your left sitting bone up, breathing in back to the center, exhale, rotating over to your left side. One more time, inhale back to the center, exhale to the right, and this time see whether you can draw that left arm across, reaching left arms away, press the left heel away from you. Breathing in, coming back toward the center, pause with the toe touching so that you're adjusting your hands. Exhale, then roll to your left side, draw the right arms across. Once the right arm reaching, see whether you can press your right heel slightly away. Noticing the stretching to the outer hips all the way to the outside of your leg. Breathing in, coming back toward the center, bend your knee, then roll to one side, press yourself back up into your table, so hands and knee. Bring the towels and block towards the front so that throughout the whole practice, you can use it anytime. Noticing that you also have a tennis ball, move it away, we don't need to use it right now. Keep your knee underneath your hip, your wrist underneath your shoulder. Breathing in, tailbone up, drop your belly down, reaching the heart forward. Cow pose. Exhale, draw the navel into the spine, rounding your back, chin toward your chest, into your cat pose. Couple more times, see whether you can move slowly so that you feel one vertebrae at a time, chest away from your belly. Breathing out, contraction, your belly, lift the mid back up. One more time. And as you exhale, squeeze your navel, lift your belly into what the spine, then slowly bring your spine back into your neutral. Walking your hands forward, elbow and forearms down toward the floor, full hip rest on top of the mat into your puppy pose. Coming down to these pose anytime throughout your whole practice. Continue to breathe. Slowly walking your hands back and grab the tennis ball. Put the tennis ball into your left hand, making a circle around the orbits of your palms to help you stretching and releasing the tension around the palm area, blood circulation. Then slowly bring it all the way to the, each the tips of the finger and rest your pinky and the thumbs down toward the floor. Feel that stretch. Lift the finger up toward the ceiling. Breathing in, then roll it all the way to the wrist. Exhale, roll it forward until the tips of the fingertips touch. Then making another circle clockwise, counterclockwise. Release, bring your palms down. Notice the difference, then Bring the ball to the right side, circle clockwise, counterclockwise. Then roll it forward and back until you bring it all the way to the tops of the tips of your finger. Then lower your pinky and the thumbs down. So stretching that middle finger, the index finger and ring finger. Breathing in, roll it all the way to the back of your wrist and forward and back one more time. Then making a circle clockwise, counterclockwise. Release and move the tennis ball away, press into your palm. Inhale, lift your left hands up and making a circle on your wrist. Reverse the circle. Press your left hands down, circle your right wrist, clockwise, counterclockwise. Then lower your elbow down, bring your elbow underneath your shoulder, interest to your hands. Breathing in, begin to tuck in the toe, lift the knee off from the ground, tailbone up toward the sky into your dolphin pose. Lengthening your tailbone up, Allow your torso to pointing down, crowd the head down toward the floor, taking the gaze toward your heel. Exhale, slowly lower your knee down toward the floor, draw the chest forward. 
Breathing in, exhale, slowly lift the knee up, navel in toward the spine, tailbone up. One more time into your dolphin pose. And see whether this time you can paddling to your feet by bending one knee at a time. Paddling to your feet, easing off all the tension. Then slowly lower your knee down, open up your knee wide, big toe touch. Shift the tailbone towards the heel, forehead, rest on the floor and lengthen your arm forward, Thai pose. Noticing the back body. Feel the space from your lower back, mid back, upper back. Front body heavily sinking down towards the earth. Inhale, extending the arms behind, interest the hand, lengthening your arm. Then begin to draw your shoulder away from your sternum, hug your shoulder blade in toward the center. Option, lift the arm toward the ceiling, widen up across your chest. Exhale, roll both ear and shoulder, sorry, right ear and right shoulder down, turn the head to your left, relaxing to your neck and jaw. Inhale, coming back toward the center. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder down. Breathing in back to the center. Exhale, relaxing your arms down. Drop your shoulder down toward the floor. Then extending the arm forward one at a time. Press to your hands. Bring your knee back into your table. Breathing in, extending right leg behind with the toe pointing down. Press the heel away. Keep your pelvis level. Lift to the chest. Allow the gaze to be slightly forward, down toward the floor. Exhale, knee forward toward your chest, navel in toward the spine. Breathing in, extending and lengthening. Exhale, draw your right leg out to the side, bring the heel down, toe pointing forward. Then rock your torso forward and back, bring your heel away from your left knee to stretching that inner thigh, warming up your hips. As your shoulder come forward on tops of the wrist, then inhale, right arms out, draw the chest up, open up that right side of your pectoral muscle. Relaxing and feel that opening to the front of the chest. Exhale, rest your right hand to your right hip. Push yourself back up. Find yourself into a gate pose. If you're tilting your hips, draw that right hip up and lift that left hips, left shoulder up. Inhale, left arms up. Exhale, tilting over to your right side. Roll your shoulder back. You can bend your elbow. Options, riding that right hand along your leg. Breathe. Deep breath in. Exhale, bring your left hand to your hip. Then turn your left toe, right toe out to the side, right knee on tops of the ankle. If you need a cushioning for your knee, you can use the towels. Breathing in, draw your right knee forward as if you press your left knee away from you so that you're stretching that inner thighs and groin area. Exhale, relaxing back down. One more time, inhale as you draw your right knee forward, press your left knee away. Then slowly coming back, knee on top of the ankle, right hand press inside your right thigh, right thigh press against your hand. Then draw the arms, left arm behind your back, turn the head to look over toward the ceiling. Breathing in, exhale, see whether you like to draw your right hand to grabbing down toward your right ankle. Noticing that stretching to that inner thighs and groin area. Breathing in, breathing out, slowly release. Bring both hands down toward the floor, draw your knee back to find your table. Noticing the difference. When you're ready, then shift the weight toward your right knee, breathing in, extending left leg behind, press the heel away. Draw that inner thigh on your left side in so that you keep your pelvis level. 
lengthening to the front of your body, chest away from your belly, slightly gaze forward down toward the floor. Exhale, squeezing your navel, draw your knee forward. Inhale, reaching your leg away, lift the chest, lift the gaze and noticing the squeeze into your left glute. Exhale, draw your left leg out to the side, heel and toe touching down. Then begin to shift your hips forward and back, noticing what's happening to your inner thighs and groin area. The next time your shoulder come forward on top of the wrist, then inhale, left arm out to the side. Let the arm fall as the range of motion it want to be. Focusing on lift the chest toward the ceiling, relaxing to your neck and jaw. Breathing in, breathing out, left hand to your left hip, push your torso up, keep your hips in line with your shoulder. Inhale, right arms up, lengthening the right side of your body. Exhale, then tilting over to your left side. Option sliding that left hands along your left leg. Noticing the space into that right rib cage area. Deep breath in, exhale, bring your right hand to your hip, bending your left knee, bring your knee on top of the ankle, toe pointing forward. Breathing in, draw your left knee forward, draw your right knee away. Exhale, release. One more time, inhale, exhale. Then release left hand inside your left leg, right arms behind your back, drop your shoulder down. Then begin to turn to your right side, gazing up toward the ceiling. Feel that recess on your forearm on your left side against your leg. Each time you exhale, see whether you want to slide in your hands down toward your ankle, just enough that you feel that stretch and see how your range of motion is. Relaxing to the jaw, breathing in, breathing out, slowly release. Bring your hands down toward the floor, bring your knee back. Choose the option whether you want to stretch into your puppy pose or chai pose for a couple breaths. Taking the time to pause, to reflecting your practice, to noticing how your body feels. When you're ready, then press to your hands. Inhale, tuck in the toe, lift the knee off on the ground, tailbone up toward the sky, downward facing dog. Adjusting hands and feet position into this upside down V shape until you find the balance and evenly draw the navel in, thinking about lift your tailbone as highly towards the ceiling, crowd the head pointing down. Once you find that position, then begin to paddling to your feet, releasing all the tension behind your leg and noticing the area that you feel the stretch. And we pause right here in your downward facing dog. Breathing in, bending your knee, eye looking forward, walking your feet forward toward your hands, standing forward fold. Bending your knee generously that your rib cage rests on top of the thigh, then tilt the crown of the head down. Option, you can using the block to help lengthen your arms by put the block underneath your hand. Breathing in, begin to lift your tailbone up by press your thigh bone back, navel in toward the spine to protecting your lower back. Option now, hands can grab your leg onto an opposite elbow. Let your torso roll forward and back or side to side. Allow the gravity to draw you down towards the earth. Tension melting away from your shoulder, neck and jaw. Breathing in, release, bring your hands on top of the thigh, shift the weight towards your heel, lengthening your tailbone down as you lift the chest forward. Bring your hands to your hip, breathing in, push down to your heel, squeeze in the thighs and buttock, and tilt your pelvis back so that your tailbone and down, pelvic bone pointing up toward your navel. 
engaging your leg muscle as if you're trying to sliding your heel apart. Breathing in, releasing your arms, draw the arms out, reaching it up toward the sky. Breathing out, circle your arms behind, open the chest. Now tilt the tailbone down, lift the chest up, softening to the front of your throat and jaw into a gentle back bending. Exhale slowly, bending your knee, hinging forward from the hips, draw your arms back, chest parallel toward the floor, front of the chest expanding. Exhale, shift the weight down toward your heel. Draw your arm forward, chest forward into your chair pose. Deep breath in. Exhale, twist to your right left hand outside your right leg, right hand behind. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, twist your left right hand outside your left leg, left arms behind your back. Breathing in, come forward. Breathing out slowly, release, then push down to your heel, inhale, bring your arms out wide, widen your arm, five point star. Exhale, squeeze your buttock as you lift the chest up, bend the elbow. Inhale, draw the elbow towards one another. Exhale, open up. Breathing in, point the fingertips down. And exhale, release. Inhale, reaching the arms away, open the chest. Exhale, cross left arm on tops of the right, tapping into an opposite shoulder. Next option is bring the fingertips up toward the ceiling. Breathing in, exhale, slow motion. Draw your left elbow over to your right. Drop the left elbow down. Option is bring your left arms out if it's too much for you. Otherwise, keep it right there. Then slowly turn your chin over to your left shoulder. Breathing in, coming back. Then bring the elbow back. Open up the arms. Open the chest. Exhale, cross right arms on tops of the left and find your eagle arm. Breathing in, exhale, slow motion, draw your right elbow toward your left shoulder, drop your shoulder down. Exhale, turning your chin toward your right. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, release, draw the arms out. Inhale, reaching up tall, allow the palms to touch. Exhale, softening, bring your hands in front of your heart, thumb touching to your heart. Relax into your shoulder, feel that sense of letting go. Then release, bring your arms down, pause and noticing. Sensing the whole body, checking in with your breath. And when you're ready, open up your leg wide, stretching side to side, twisting as you're releasing all the tension in your body and get ready for our balance pose. Before we do balance pose, you're gonna come back to grab the tennis ball again. Before you do anything on the tennis ball, standing first and begin to noticing how your feet connecting down toward the floor? Do you feel the weight more towards the front of the toe or more towards the back of the heel? Are you rolling in towards your arch that your arch collapsing? Or are you pressing more towards the outside edge of your foot? There is no right way, wrong way, but just observing. And remember that sensation and feeling underneath your feet at this moment. When you're ready, bring your hands toward your hip. Step your left foot forward to find your tennis ball and then begin to roll. Just gently roll forward and back. Doesn't have to press so hard, particularly if you are new. But if you've done this before, you know how much pressure you want to press down. This will help stretching the fascias and also bring the blood circulation massaging your feet and 
underneath the feet is a lot of things that connecting to all the organs into your body, including your kidney, your liver, and your heart. The next time the ball come to the back of your heel, then point the toe down toward the floor, bend to your knee. Releasing the hands on top of your left thigh, exhale, press down to your heel, pumping up, inhale, shift the weight toward the ball of the foot, lift the heel. Exhale, press the heel down. One more time, inhale, exhale, press the heel down, then slowly come up, roll the tennis ball back and forth again. And this time, as the tennis ball comes all the way to the toe, spread your toe and curl your toe in like a crab crawl. <laughs> Squeeze. And when you're ready, step your right foot slightly back so that you have a space to bend your left knee. Breathing in, press the tennis ball. Exhale, press down toward your heel. Lift the foot up. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, release. Then come back. Roll the tennis ball forward and back making a circle at the arch area now once you find the arch making a circle clockwise counterclockwise then go side by side from the arch to the outside edge of your pinky then forward and back whatever make you feel good and be careful because it's a lot of tendon uh, nerve so you feel tenderness then we pause right here Hands to your hip, begin to release your left foot down and right away if you can, gazing down or closing your eye. Checking in your left foot. Can you feel the difference than your right? What happening there? Now we're gonna balancing it out. So now you're gonna open up your eyes. If you close your eye, bring the tennis ball to your right foot, then rock it, roll it forward and back once again or do whatever you feel good, but trying to stretch it forward and back so that you're lengthening the fascias. Then side to side, wherever it, that you feel good. Then the next time the tennis ball come all the way to the back of the heel, then bring the toe down, bend to your right knee, hand release to your thigh. Breathing in, exhale, press the heel down as if you're trying to squeeze the tennis ball. Breathing in, shift the weight towards the ball of the foot. Exhale, press the heel down. One more time, inhale, exhale. Then slowly release, roll it forward and back a couple times. Then bring the tennis ball all the way to the tops of the toe. Spread your toe wide and hugging in so that you use all the knuckle, that the, the area that you hardly use or exercise at all. Then step your left foot back to create a space to allow your right knee to be able to bend. Then each time you exhale, you squeeze the tennis ball down. Inhale, lift the toe off from the tennis ball. Exhale, press down. Inhale, exhale. Then the next inhale, release, come back up. Then roll the tennis ball to the direction where you feel confident ease. Bring the tennis ball to the arch area, either circle clockwise, counterclockwise, forward and back, shift the weight side to side. Bring your hands to your hip, bending your knee gently and making a circle to your hip, clockwise, counterclockwise. Find a stillness now into your standing, rooted down towards your heel as if you're sliding your heel apart. Softening to your shoulder, begin to shift the weight toward your right foot. Inhale, lift the left heel up, bend your left knee. Exhale, draw the left knee out to the side, left heel, right ankle to find your tree pose. Noticing if your hips sway like this, draw your hip back, hip underneath your shoulder. Once you find your steadiness into your right leg, then begin to move whether you like to be on the tippy toe, press your shin bone or your calf, or bring all the way up towards your inner thigh. It's not about how high. Remember, it's a journey to your practice, not a competition. 
you can always put it down at the lower level and stay focused to find the stillness. When you find that stillness into your leg, then engaging your arms by draw the arms out or up toward the ceiling or even hands to your hips or hands into a prayer position. Choose the option for you, then begin to feel that uplifting as you reaching your arms up. Feel like you're trying to reaching up toward the sun. Noticing the lengthening of your torso. The exhale, root up down toward your right foot so that you find the steadiness, the foundation of your standing. Three pose, Vikasana. Remember to breathe. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, bring your arms down, left foot down. Pause and feel the effect. Then shaking your leg out, open up your feet wide, twisting side to side. Once you find a balance in both legs and ready, then stepping to find your feet, feet hip width apart, hands to your hip. Come back to this mountain pose and when you're ready, shift the weight with your left foot. Inhale, lift your right heel up, bend your right knee. Exhale, draw the knee out to the side, right heel, left ankle. Take your time when your body ready, then begin to move your right foot where you want it to be. When the leg is steady and giving you grounding down towards the earth, then begin to draw your arms, noticing where your arms work well for you today. Widen your arm will help softening to your shoulder. Continue to find your breath and steady gaze down toward the floor will help you with your balance. Three pose, Vikasana. One more breath, breathing in, breathing out, release. Bring your arms down, bring your foot down. Noticing the effect, shaking your leg out, twist side to side. And slowly walk your way towards the tops of the mat, feet hip width apart. Breathing in soft, bending your knee, draw the arms out, raising it up toward the sky. Breathing out, bending your knee, hinging forward from the hips, draw your hands down toward the floor, crown the head down, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, hands press your thigh bone back, chest parallel toward the floor. Exhale, release, bring your hands down, shift the weight toward your right foot, step your left foot back, bring the heel down, turn the toe out to the side. Right hands on top of the right thigh, turn your torso to your left side as you bring the arms, stretching it out away from each other. Keep your torso in between your hips, shoulder on top of your hips, softening to your shoulder and jaw. Noticing that you're engaging your inner thigh, if you don't feel the weight towards the edge of your pinky edge, lift to your arch area by flex the toe up toward your ankle. Inhale, root it down towards your heel, squeeze your inner thigh, lengthen your leg, lift your arms up. Exhale, bend your right knee forward, draw your left heel away, then floating your arms away. Begin to turn the gaze over toward your right hand, flip your right palms up. Breathing in, right arms up toward the sky, draw your right shoulder away from your right hip. Noticing the space into that right rib cage. Left arm can be behind your back or grab into your left leg. Reverse warrior. Deep breath in. Breathing out, cartwheel the arms down toward the floor, finding your block, grabbing the block to frame your foot, then lift the back of your left heel up, point the toe forward. Adjusting the block that the block is slightly behind your right foot and your wrist is underneath your shoulder, the block is shoulder width apart. So it's not met width apart. If you're in a tight rope that you feel like, oh my God, I'm swaying left and right, Heel toward your right foot to the corner edge so you widen the sand like a train track, not a tight rope. Now, do you rest your ribcage with your thigh or can you 
rooted it down toward your wrist or come to the fingertips. Lift your ribcage away from your thigh bone. Draw your chest forward. Exhale, release. Bring your left knee down toward the floor on top the toe. Heel toe, your right foot out. Turn the toe out to the side. Option, come out to the pinky side and rest your hands on top of the right thigh. Draw your right knee away. Bring your knee away from your pelvis. Then slowly turn the chest to your right side. Option, you can bring the arms behind your back or reaching it up toward the ceiling. Choose the option that works for you. One more breath, breathing in. Breathing out, bring your hands back toward your thigh, press your right foot down, turn the toe in. Grabbing the block. Breathing in, exhale, begin to shift the tailbone back, lengthening your right leg, moving the block back with you. Flex that toe toward your knee. Inhale, point the toe forward. Exhale, flexing that toe back. Then very slowly, breathing in, walking the block forward, press your right foot down, bend your right knee. Bring both hands inside your right foot, move the block away. Sliding right knee down toward the floor to find your table. And choose the option whether you want to go into chai pose with me, open out wide, big toe touch, tailbone towards the heel or just walking your hands forward to find your puppy pose. Choose what works well for you and good for your body today. Listening to your body. When you're ready, press to your hands, breathing in, lift the tailbone up, tuck in the toe, bring the knee off from the ground, tailbone up toward the sky, downward facing dog. Paddling your feet a couple of times, ease off all the tension, bring the balance back. Then very slowly bending your knee, breathing in, eye looking forward, walking your feet forward toward your hands, standing forward fold. Relaxing head, neck and shoulder. Then shift the weight toward your right foot, Breathe, left foot, breathing in, step your right foot back, bring the heel down, turn the toe out to the side. Left hands on top of the left thigh, lift your torso up, draw the arms away. Once again, checking in, most important thing is your front knee, is your foundation of your stability. Allow your knee to point forward, rather than let your knee rolling in, can you draw your knee towards your pinky side. Allow your arms to come up, inhale, reaching up tall, straight your leg, hug your waistline in. Exhale, bend your left knee, draw your right heel away, floating your arms. Then begin to turn to gaze forward toward your left hand, breathing in left arms up toward the sky, right arms behind your back. Noticing that the space into that left rib cage as you draw your left shoulder up away from your hip. Breathe, inhale, exhale, cartwheel the arms down toward the floor, find the block, lift the back of your right heel up, press your heel away. Once again, if you're in a tight rope, heel toe your left foot out to the corner edge to widen the stand. Bring the block slightly behind your left foot, your wrist underneath your shoulder. Block is about shoulder width apart. Then draw your rib cage away from your thigh bone. Bring your chest up. Deep breath in. Exhale, right knee resting down toward the floor. Untuck the toe. Move the block on your left side away so that you have a space to heel toe your foot out to the side. Option to roll to the pinky edge, then left hands on top of the left thigh. Breathing in, exhale, twist to your left side. Trying to draw your right shoulder and chest up so that you keep the space to allow the hip flexor on your right side to release. Continue to breathe. Option, left arm can go up. 
or bring the left arms behind your back. Deep breath in. Breathing out, slowly turn your right toe back. Heel toe your foot in and grabbing the block. Breathing in, exhale, shift the tailbone back, walking the block back with you. Hinging from the hips, anchor down towards your heel, then flex the toe towards your knee. Inhale, point the toe forward, noticing the tops of the feet, the chin bone, the sensation. Exhale, flex the toe towards your knee. Breathing in, point the toe forward, then begin to grab in the block, walking your block forward, bending your left knee, lift the chest up, tailbone down. Then slowly bring your left hand inside your foot, moving the block away, sliding that left knee back, bring your knee down. Then this time walking both hands forward, both arms and elbow down, stretching and release into your puppy pose. Slender yourself down, particularly your heart melting down towards the earth. Breathe into the back body. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, press your hands down toward the floor. Come back up into your table. Then slowly shift the tailbone towards the heel, walking your hands toward your knee, coming up to your sitting. Roll the hip to one side, extending the leg out, down toward the floor. Move the block towards the back. Grabbing the bell or the towels, whatever works for you at home, you can use the towels. Once you find the towels, then releasing your feet out, rock your sitting bone side to side, wrapping the towels around the ball of the foot. Lengthening to your arms and bring the elbow crease up, pull the elbow towards your hip, lift your knee slightly off from the floor so that you allow the space into your lower back and find a natural curve into your back. Inhale, lifting up tall, draw your chest up, lengthening your arm as if you're trying to lean in back. On your next exhale, squeezing your belly, pull the elbow towards your hip, thinking about rib cage towards your thigh bone, chest come forward. Now relax into your shoulder and your arms now. Begin to slow motion without shifting your rib cage and torso, sliding your heel forward. Once you find that stretch into your hamstring and the edge, then flex the toe toward your knee. If you're more flexible, there will be more space, so then you can roll your hand to shortening your towels. Relaxing to your face, your jaw into your sitting forward fold, Pachimottanasana. Continue to breathe. Deep breath in, exhale, letting go of your towels, bending your knee. Bring the sole of the foot towards one another, open up your knee wide, lift your knee up and down, rock side to side. Releasing your hands underneath your pinky, lengthening to your arms, draw your knee towards your hip, lift your torso up. Try not to press your knee down toward the floor, listening to your body. Breathing in, exhale, bend your elbow, hinging forward from the hips, draw your chest forward, down toward the floor. Just enough that you feel the stretch toward the inner thighs and groin area without experiencing any pain. Stay right here, but continue to breathe into this Buddha Kanasana or bow angle pose. Letting go, but rather let the pose unfold through your breath. Sensing how your body feels. One last breath, inhale, exhale, releasing your hands underneath your knees, slow motion, draw your knee towards one another, step your feet forward so that you're leaning your torso towards your thigh bone to get time to release, sensations subside. And 
when you're ready, slowly sliding your hands underneath your thigh bone. Bend the elbow closer toward your torso. Breathing in, begin to lean slightly back, lengthening your arms, find the top edge of your sitting bone, then shift the weight toward the heel, flex the toe toward the ceiling. Lift the chest away from your belly, roll the shoulder away from your sternum. Stay right here or floating your feet off from the floor. You can keep your knee bending. You can continue to keep your hands underneath your thigh bone. Next option, bring your hands in front as if you're holding the energy ball. Deep breath in, exhale, twist to your right. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, twist to your right, squeeze your belly. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, twist to the left, and then squeeze into your belly. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, letting go, fold your torso forward. Allow your belly to rise up and down. Follow the natural flow of your breath. Taking your time. And when your body ready, see how would you like to lie down toward the floor. So choose the way to roll yourself back or come to the side and roll yourself down. I'm gonna move the mat so that my feet will not facing toward you. Once you lie down toward the floor, then begin to draw your knee toward your chest. Have the block nearby. Begin to roll yourself side to side, massaging your back, releasing all the tension. Then slowly lower your foot down toward the floor one at a time. Bring your heel closer toward your buttock. Grabbing the block, press down to your feet. Inhale, lift the hips up, sliding the block right underneath your sacrum. The sacrum is the flat area below your lower back, slightly above your sitting bone. Then begin to reaching the arms overhead, stretching the front of your body. Next option, you can extending the leg out down toward the floor one at a time. Listening to your body, point the toe forward, Feel the front of your hip flexor and the space into that rib cage. One more breath, breathing in, breathing out slowly, bring your arms back, bend your knee one at a time, pause and feel. Using your hands to find your tennis ball, you're going to put the tennis ball into your left hand. Breathing in, begin to bring your left hands over to your right shoulder. Sliding that tennis ball right behind. Then roll your shoulder side to side. See where the which parts and, and the area where you bring the tennis ball that bring the ease for massaging your shoulder making a movement that allow your body to feel the letting go and stretch and release. Thinking about someone using their hands to massaging you. Don't try too hard or hurt yourself, particularly if you're new to the tennis ball. Once you find the sensation spot, pause, and just let the tennis ball do the work to pull all the blood to that area. Exhale, begin to release by using the left hand, move the tennis ball away so that the blood will flow to the area that you feel sensation. Letting go of your right shoulder. Feel the waves of the back of the shoulder and the upper back down towards the earth. Turn your head gently side to side by bring your chin to the opposite shoulder, side to side. 
when you're ready, then right hand grab the tennis ball, then cross your arm over to your left side, find the spot as you roll the tennis ball. There might be some tenderness, but you should not experience child pain. Backing off and listening to your body is not about the pain. It's about ease the tension off. Once you find that tenderness area, just letting go. Pause right there for a few breath. Continue to breathe. When you're ready to release, then right hand move the tennis ball away. Allow the upper back, the shoulder, melting down toward the floor. When your body ready, then hands and arm along the side of your body. Option hands grab to the block. Inhale, extending the leg up toward the ceiling one at a time. Now see whether you like to bring the toe towards the crown of the head. Sensing how your body feels. When your leg up toward the ceiling, it allows the blood to circulating, reversing back towards your digestive system, your heart and your nervous system. Point and flex the toe. Circle your ankle clockwise, counterclockwise. When you're ready to release, then slowly bend your knee one at a time. Bring your foot down toward the floor. Pause right here. Rest your back until you feel ready. Then press the hands and feet. Lift the hips up sliding the block away. Rest your lower back, mid back, upper back down toward the floor. Open up your feet wide about mat width apart, arms out at the shoulder height. Breathing in, exhale, roll both knees over to your right side. And then very slowly with the option, you can turn the head to your left or lift the right foot up, bring right ankle on top of the left thigh. Relaxing to your lower back, your spine area. Let the gravity do the work. Draw your left knee pointing forward away from your body. One more breath, breathing in. Breathing out, you cross your leg, uncrossing your leg. Draw your left knee up, followed by the right. Adjusting your feet back until you find balance and center. Breathing in, exhale, roll both knee over to your left side. Relaxing your shoulder down. Option to turn the head to your right or lift the left foot up, cross left ankle on top of the right thigh. Sensing the ease. Feel the front of the chest expanding as you reaching your right arms away. One more breath right here into your supine twist. Breathing in, breathing out, uncrossing your leg. Slow motion, draw your right knee up, followed by the left, bring your arms back. Feet flat down toward the floor, pause and feel. When your body ready, then begin to draw your knee towards your armpit one at a time. Sole the foot up toward the ceiling, point and flex the toe. Circle your ankle clockwise, counterclockwise into your happy baby pose. Stay right here or choose to move side to side, massaging your lower back, letting go of all that tension and holding. Stay right here when your body ready for your relaxation. You can choose the option. First option is to bring your foot down toward the floor one at a time, grabbing two blocks 
and press the block underneath your thigh bone to elevating your leg higher than your hip. Second option, if you want to open up your heart and open up the chest, then slowly come back up, bring the block, press it right behind your shoulder blade, bring the other block to supporting your head, then lying down, the block will rest in between your shoulder blade and the other block supporting your head. Choose your option. Then allow your arm to be slightly away. Eye can be gazing up towards the ceiling or closing your eye. This is the time for your body to really let it go. To surrender down towards the earth. If you're still holding tension somewhere, making a movement in your body, adjusting arms and shoulder, once you find that comfort and safe space, then bring your awareness back towards your breath once again. Smooth, steady flow of your breath. Rest right here into these moments allow your body to rejuvenate, nervous coming down, and find your journey to your deep relaxation. Slowly bring your awareness back towards your body. Draw your hands to move the block away to rest your body down toward the floor. Feel that back area connecting down towards the earth and letting go. Begin to bring the movement by turning your head side to side, wriggling to your hands, your toes. Breathing in, reaching the arms overhead, stretching your body in all directions. <coughs> Sensing that ease. Exhale, bend your knee one at a time. Draw your knee toward your chest. Hands on tops of the knee and roll your torso side to side. The next time you roll to your right side, allow the bottom arm to support in head, neck, and shoulder. Draw your knee up toward your chest like you're curling in into the mother's womb. Rest right here. Feel your body. When you're ready, press with the top hands to bring yourself back up to find your comfort sitting position. Noticing the weights of your tailbone rooted down toward the floor. Feel that lightness as your torso stacking with the spine one vertebrae at a time, reaching it up towards the crowd ahead. And rest on tops of your thigh. Taking the time to witness your experience. Checking in with your physical body. Feel the quality of your breath. Noticing what happening into your mind, your thoughts and emotions. Continue to breathe. 
inhale, draw the arms out, reaching it up towards the sky and allow the palms to touch. Exhale, hands right in front of your heart and rest right here with the thumbs touching to your heart. Feel that love and care that you give to your body. Feel that thankful that the body allowing you to practice today. Noticing that calmness and relax. Bring it back home with you till the next time you meet. Breathing in, breathing out as we bow forward. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining the practice with me today. Hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you back next week. Thank you.